Okay, today we're going to start with the basics of your canvas. This is a little 8x10. I get mine from Michael's. It is the Artist's Loft brand level one. I have always used level one. I know there's level two and level three, but dang, that gets expensive. So I have stuck with level one. I haven't had any problems with it. It's been wonderful. Um, it's nice and tight. Um, it's, it's just all around. It's, it's probably one of the best bangs for your buck you can get out there. As far as I know, let me know if you find something different. Um, but you can get packs of these. Um, I think the 8x10s are 10 with potential. I think it's uh, when they go on sale, it's $10.99 or $9.99 or something like that. And so it's like a dollar a canvas, which is fabulous. <clears throat> so first things first. I always start with my signature, good or bad, it's going to have my name and signature on it. Okay, then <clears throat> tape, painter's tape. You don't have to use painter's tape, but if you do like to have a nice clean edge, have the bottom of it clean, get painter's tape. Uh, you, it, the, as far as I know, you know, there, it doesn't matter what brand you use. Um, it all, it all works about the same pretty much. It's just a matter of how, how strong it sticks on the canvas. Uh, if you're really, really sticklery about having a sharp edge and not having it get underneath, um, I'll show you how to fix that. <clears throat> so, do this. Oh, I use uh, the um, the size that I use is 1.41. Uh, there's a 0.9 something and I think a, a 1.8 something and that's just that's the width and for me 1.41 is just fabulous. So you will start by putting it down across your edge. Leave a little bit of a lip up here because that's what will fold over. That will give you your cleaner line. <clears throat> and you decide how far up you want that line. You might want it to just be clean on the bottom, then just cover the bottom part. If you want the whole side to be clean, start laying it down up here and then fold it backwards. And you're just fine. Okay. Get this part done real quick here. And I want to say, I'm pretty sure it was Canella uh, who um, did a video on this. Uh, what she does to keep that clean line, she is, her, oh, her lines are just amazing. Um, so you have stuff hanging over the edge, just cut it off. I'm, I'm horrible about corners. I really am. My corners aren't the best, but <laughs> oh well. It's all right. I'm still, I'm, I'm, I'm not as uh, sticklery as most. I'm, I'm pretty easygoing. Um, I, as you can see, you know, I've kind of got stuff everywhere. This is, it is winter. I have my tea and hot water uh, kettle here <laughs> to keep me nice and warm with tea. Um, let's see here. So I'm a little scattered. I really am, which hopefully won't be a problem for everybody. <laughs> so anyway, uh, once you get all four sides, go ahead and push it down around the sides here. Okay. And now this is the trick that Canela showed me, showed everybody. Really. Okay. So handy daddy popsicle stick. Go along after you've got it pushed down, give it an extra good push with a popsicle stick. It seriously makes a world of difference. After you do the bottom, do the top. Sides, sorry, sides. All right. <clears throat> now, that's done. This is, 
thumbtacks, just little ones. Uh, they don't have to be, or push pins, depending on what you want to call them. Uh, they don't have to be big. They don't have to be any particular shape. Uh, just find a kind that has a flat top to it because level is incredibly, incredibly important. So, um, <clears throat> and you can reuse them like crazy. I mean, you can see these, these are just, yeah, I've used these a lot. And when you bend one, which happens, Right away, just get some more, but you can reuse them. There's a little budget tip for you. Okay, so pop them into the sides, in the corners. Um, I I really haven't noticed um, a difference of where I put it. I um, pref I just prefer to stick it just a little farther in from the side. You can see it's about a fingertip width around and then go ahead and push them in make sure you get them pushed all the way in because again it will change your balance so you've got to make sure those are all the way in okay so there you go here's your prepared canvas that's it okay one more thing uh, about uh, your canvases this is just a 8 by 10 which is you know, pretty small uh, for me. It's a good starter, starter place. Um, but if you have a uh, 16 by 20, which is happens to be my favorite size, I end up putting um, extra uh, thumbtacks in the in the sides as well, to just to give it a little more stability, and also for um, drying purposes. My racks aren't as big. <laughs> they don't hold a 16 by 20 as well. So uh, when I put it in, the rack tends to come to here and I can balance my uh, thumbtacks on there. So just a heads up on that one. Okay, so you know the routine. Like, subscribe. I'll have links down below to everything that I do, that I use. You'll know what colors I have. And by the end of this, you'll know all of my uh, my mixes, uh, what, what paints exactly I use, and what canvases I use, and hopefully the deals that I use. So, welcome to my channel. Let's go have some fun.